Yes. Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve is third cranial nerve. Here, if you make a diagram, this is position of brain stem. This is midbrain, this is pons, this is medulla oblongata. Here is superior colliculus, this is inferior colliculus level. Here is cerebellum. If you cut a transverse section at this level, you will find This is transverse section of the midbrain at level of superior colliculus. This level, at this level, on ventral side, third cranial nerve arises. And as you know, this is inferior colliculus level. The fourth cranial nerve arises from the dorsal aspect. This is fourth cranial nerve. This is superior colliculus, this is inferior colliculus. This level is superior colliculus level. And here is position of peri aqueductal gray matter. This is cerebral aqueduct. This is aqueduct and this is peri aqueductal gray matter. Here here nuclei is present from here to here. This is oculomotor nerve nuclei. This is oculomotor nerve nuclei. Oculomotor nerve arise like this. This is oculomotor nerve of both sides. Here this is a nuclear complex known as oculomotor nerve nuclear complex or atom uh, oculomotor nuclear complex. If you enlarge, enlarge this part, you will find here is position of rife nucleus. This is rife nucleus. So this oculomotor nuclei is made up of several small nuclei. So this is rife nucleus and this rife nuclear nucleus has nerve fiber for the superior rectus muscle. This is rife nucleus. And the nucleus here is this nucleus is CCN. That is caudal central nucleus. This nucleus is for the levator palpebri superioris muscle. This is for the levator palpebri superioris muscle. And the nucleus lateral to this on both sides. This is ventral medial nucleus. This is ventral medial nucleus. Ventral medial nucleus. This nucleus gives nerve fiber 
for the medial rectus muscle for the medial rectus muscle for the medial rectus muscle and another thing here is this is intermediate nucleus this is intermediate nucleus and this intermediate nucleus gives a fiber to inferior oblique muscle inferior oblique muscle and that thing here is and the nucleus that is dorsal lateral nucleus dorsal lateral nucleus and it contains nerve fiber for the inferior rectus muscle it is for the inferior rectus muscle inferior rectus muscle and lateral to this there is Edinger Westphal nucleus. This is Edinger Westphal nucleus. This is Edinger Westphal nucleus, which contains parasympathetic fiber. From Edinger Westphal nucleus, nerve fiber passes to ciliary ganglia. This is ciliary ganglia. Here the post ganglionic fiber gives this is position of eyeball Here is the sphincter pupil muscle. This is sphincter pupil. Sphincter pupil muscle. And here is ciliaris muscle. Ciliaris muscle. This is ciliaris and sphincter pupil muscle. So these fibers pierce the sclera. These nerve fibers, post ganglion fibers, pierce the sclera and passes between the choroid layer and sclera. And gives supply to the ciliaris muscle and sphincter pupil muscle. So you have the parasympathetic supply. So this is oculomotor nuclear complex. So here is oculomotor nuclear complex, and here you can see this is parasympathetic fiber, that is general visceral efferent fiber, and these are somatic efferent fibers passes through this so this is all about the oculomotor nerve part 1 thank you